why it's so hard to talk about and then when you do it just seems kind of foolish is that when the it's so discreet that you wouldn't even believe it so technically like the most discreet thing you can do is have it be invisible and along with wind blowing uh really hard and then the electric current in the air those are both invisible so if you have any issues it's just going to come down to uh we'll take a look in the mirror so that's the between state of the really uh quick or really slow really dark or really light the between state would be like a reflection and then like at that point they're gonna say i don't know what you're talking about and i have to go and so at that point where then the only other better thing than that where then the only better thing than that is to glamour at like all the bells and whistles and this is kind of why i like the word flagstaff because like a flag is something that is up high and everyone glamours at it excuse me and then just like if you always are into that where it would just seem like there's no problem if it's always an advance so i mean an upgrade so when you have like the data centers and everything the reason why like the government would allow them access to do anything because it looks like a new era and because we had the card catalogs and then in the libraries the card catalogs went on to computers so just an example like that would be the reason for upgrading the bells and whistles where no questions asked because there's no problem just because it's so discreet that it seems reasonable Oh yes, this is a bit different, as when you make it from a change to bright to dark, that's actually a difference in what uh, Vsauce said is a hot dog uh, that's hot and the one that's cold. If you put them all together in a pattern, that is an irritant uh, on almost any level. And this is actually an explanation of changing from quick to slow uh i just felt the difference from bright to dark and so and as discreet as the changes if you make it really rapid like if it's a dog whistle and it is changed really rapid that is like indicating like in your body fight or flight like always and then uh it's just high strung and that is one way of um creating an irritant that then can be manipulated uh by a vampire and with different frequencies you can be agitated and people uh are known to be draculas uh when they can get extra energy off of you um i'm not saying that i studied witchcraft or any um books written by anton levey i bought one on amazon and that's what draculas do and um if someone wanted to make you feel crummy how would they do that if they had all the access in your city with controlling electronic panels everywhere and it could focus you as easily as me standing in front of this massive wall with light um, radiating off of it. The frequency is making it hard to even see. This noise, for example, do you hear like a screeching noise? Imagine if you didn't hear that noise. That would be considered uh, a dog whistle if it were still making the same vibration. But then do you know what happened in Chernobyl? Yeah, that's a different type of toxin. Uh, the sewage altogether, it can be concentrated to be a certain type of toxin. But then when you're talking about like nuclear uh, reactors, uh, this is what was Chernobyl was. And that is like the concentrated of the concentrate by getting all the atoms really close together and so that their nucleuses are compressed 
uh, and you can do that in a sewage just over time. Uh, it's called uh, a slow kill. And this is like, if you take all the sewage for one year, compress it down, you can do like 12 Chernobyls. Especially if you have the electricity flowing through it and 5G panels up everywhere. And why would you want to do this? I don't know, but there's been UFO sightings above uh, nuclear reactors, and so that interests them. And I've seen a UFO when I was a little kid, and it was up in the sky, and it did a triangle and shot out in one direction and disappeared. And it couldn't have been a shooting star, because shooting stars don't move in triangles. And what you can do with the compactance plate is uh, use it as a, a module and you can invoke a system calling it a terminal. And with data centers going up, the mayor is going to have the key to the, the city as he does. And he can go inside of a data uh, center, have all the information of the sewages because when they get updated, they have more and more electronics. Kind of like your car when it has like electronics in the key. Uh, a transistor chip in order for it to start more and more things that you wouldn't even realize are actually just electronic and they're all in databases to so these data centers these giant centers oh yeah smart screens in public and like wherever i go i see the stuff like oh it's a little free library <laughs> stuff that's happening and it's just interesting because this one is on someone's property So I didn't feel as guilty picture or photo capturing their um, garden, which I was uh, fastening the latchet. That and the world isn't fair. That's what like kids are told, but then um, they're told in school that they can do anything. I was told when I was a really like little boy by my teachers, they said, you can do anything. And then when I got to college, um, the professor, he was from the country of Jordan. He said like, theoretically anything is possible. It's just a more adult version of the same thing. But nowadays, like when kids are wearing masks in school and they're told that they can do anything, it's like hyperbole because they're at a disadvantage. This is like a bed of roses, but even more so, that's different.